I am not the most organized person. Like any of my friends will tell you, like I can be a little... Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Marilyn from Teach Marilyn Bee Style. Today's Motivation Monday is I want to encourage you to come up with a daily plan. And Hey y'all, it's cold here in Georgia. I kind of wish I had my gloves. Hi, we're in the car. It is currently Sunday and I'm gonna be posting this on Monday for an actual Motivation Monday on a Monday. Why am I in the car? Well, as you saw in my intro, I've got three boys and they are loud as heck and, and sometimes I just need a little quiet. The car is my quiet place, so anyway. I have to go to the grocery store that's not super exciting. Sorry, I really, really need some chapstick or something. So we're going to the grocery store. I want to put on lip gloss, but that seems silly because I'm going to put a mask on. Maybe we should just go to the grocery store first. I don't know. Maybe I should just record here in my driveway. I feel like that would make more sense. Then I don't have to deal with people walking by in a parking lot, right? Yeah. Yeah. So let's just, let's do this first and then we can go to the store. Today's Motivation Monday is I want to encourage you to come up with a daily plan. Now that's going to look different for everybody. I will share with you what has worked for me as far as planning out my day. I love planners. I really do. I own so many. It's kind of ridiculous. Oftentimes I'll find myself owning multiple planners for one year because one might be like a school year and then another one is like January to December or there's one that like overlaps and it's like an 18 month calendar and I love them they're beautiful but I if I'm honest I don't use them as often as they're meant to be used um my brain just doesn't work that way I don't think like when they're so pretty that you want to keep them pretty like I don't know. I used to spend so much, I had a happy planner and I used to spend so much time with all the little stickers and like doing weekly themes that I would do that and then I wouldn't plan things. It was silly. The reason I'm using this for my Motivation Monday is I was actually watching um, over on Be Read Styles. It's my friend Brittany's channel. Um, she focuses on weight loss and her, right now she's focusing on her TTC journey. If you don't know what that is, head over to her channel to find out. She recently did a vlog where she talked about having a plan as far as food. Um, it had to do with thanks the holidays and wanting to maintain her weight. She wanted to make sure to plan that she'd be able to eat and enjoy Thanksgiving Day and Christmas Day, but then not allow that to carry over and just have a plan to go back to what she's normally doing the very next day and not stress about it. And I just, I loved it because she said that saying that we we all hear so often, which is, if you fail to plan, then you're then you plan to fail. I mean, that really there is so much truth to that because if you don't really think about how you're going to steward your time well, it's so easy to let the whole day go by. And so I'm going to share what I'm what I have been doing that has worked for me. And I know that this might not work for everybody because I'm a stay at home mom. And I, well, I'm a work from home mom now and everything I do is on my own schedule. I have to decide when and how I do things. And if I don't create a schedule, then my days just go by and I'm like, oh, look at the time. It's, I gotta go pick up my kids from school and I accomplished like almost nothing. Um, and that's not typically true. Sometimes I get a couple things done, but it's certainly not what I know I could do with that time. And especially not what I, would do if I was being paid at a nine to five job or as a classroom teacher, like you get all these things done, but how do you get them done? You have a plan. And so I, I just, this has really been working for me. I kind of just like on a Sunday, will keep in mind what it is that I have to do for the week. Um, and then each day I sit down and actually plan out my day. I'm not great at like from this time to this time because I will just find that like certain things you just kind of get into a zone and especially as a creator for YouTube, it's like if I'm in a zone, I want to stay in that zone and not lose my momentum. Um, but then it's also finding the balance because I had a few nights last week where I was just up late editing 
because I was in a groove and that's not good for me. It's not good for my sleep. It's not good for my mental health. It's not good for my marriage, honestly. You know, I'm going into bed at like 2 a.m. And regardless, your sleep patterns matter. They're gonna affect how you, like your performance the next day. And so it just is a bad pattern that I'm seeing in myself. And so I'm half sharing what I do that works, but I'm also half like, I need the accountability. So I'm gonna put it out there. Just like my Motivation Monday last week, I'm gonna put things out there so that I'm being held accountable to myself because I'm saying this is how I do it and I know it works. I'm gonna just go ahead and talk through what I do and then I can film the close-ups of it later. So let me just show you like a previous day. Let me see. Okay, so here's a good one. Okay, so let's go all the way back to this Thursday in October. You can see that I actually wrote down the times and I literally set my timer. So the first thing I did at eight o'clock was I read my Bible and then from 8.15 to 8.30, I did soap. It's a way for me to reflect on what I read. So S stands for scripture, O is observation, A is the application, and then P is prayer. I got that from a Facebook group led by Christina Garcia. So that's the method that we use to like analyze a scripture and it's great. And then from 8.30 to 8.45 prayer, um, 845 to 9 is my agenda and so I wrote those first three things before I started my day and then um, I decided the rest of my agenda and had to like prioritize what I was gonna do so made my breakfast and then you can see I put exercise and then I actually had a mom date that I was supposed to go on but clearly that all kind of went to pot so I had exercise YouTube research printers and then lunch and by then it's like I kind of need to decide what I'm doing with the rest of my day because my reminders start going off for picking up my kids around 1 30 just so that I can wrap my brain around don't be late <laughs> to pick up your own children um, I don't really have to go pick them up until 2 but often if I start something after lunch I don't get as far as I would like to so that those last that last hour of my like free time in, in the day I usually try to catch up on chores or something like that so, okay, oh, this is what happened. So I wrote exercise and then I remembered that I had like a play date that I was gonna crash. So that's why it says mom date. <laughs> um, but then I just decided, you know what, like I, I really wanted to work on something for YouTube and so I decided to just call and rain check for that one and exercise instead. So that's why I went back and circled it. But yeah, it really does help me to prioritize and actually accomplish a bunch of different things that I want to do. So it's like people that say, I don't know when I'm going to work exercise into my day. I don't know when I'm going to have time to like really in-depth research a thing that I'm looking into. Um, so for my Etsy shop, I really wanted to look into printers that I might purchase if I was planning on printing cards at home. Um, and so that's what I spent that last hour of my time right before lunch doing. And then I use the bottom half of the page to write down any other thoughts or reminders that I have for that day. Um, and here I needed to actually email all of the teachers my, that my kids have. What I actually wanted to do for YouTube was write and storyboard some ideas. Um, I'm trying to get better about that because it can be so overwhelming to just kind of do things on the fly. Um, for example, this one, I just decided this is what I'm going to film today and go do it. And so the editing process takes me so much longer when I'm just like verbally processing and thinking of things to say. And that is the way that I operate best. I think if I have a really loose outline, I, and I talk about this in how to make better videos, which I will link up here. If you're on your desktop computer, it'll have that little info thing that pops up and you can go and see that. Otherwise I'll just link it below. So that's what I had planned that day. And it may not seem like much, but when I'm trying to remember if I actually taught that morning too because usually if I'm teaching I'm done by eight o'clock and so it doesn't look like I wrote that down but I don't even know if I did teach that morning I will I'm curious though I actually want to look it up and see if I taught that day okay so it turns out I didn't teach that day but that's fine a daily plan I want to know like what is it like how do you plan your days so that you actually accomplish the things that you want to I have a lot of different goals and if I don't plan to use my time properly then my time just goes away and things don't get done and that even includes chores like I, I want to be intentional to say like I'm gonna put laundry in at this time I'm gonna take it out at this time I'm gonna fold it and put it away at this time and just set aside this time and literally like I do with everything else put a timer on and get as much done as I can and then 
pick up where I left off the next day. And I know for some people that stresses you out, like, no, you need to get it done from start to finish and do the whole thing. But it's like, if I don't allow myself the flexibility to say this much is enough, like it doesn't have to be all or nothing. I can literally do all or something and that's still better than nothing, right? Yeah, I mean, that's it. This is a pretty simple Motivation Monday. I guess I just wanna motivate you to really create a plan that's gonna work for your life. And everyone is so different. I love watching different people plan their weeks out. I love watching teachers plan their weeks out. It really does make me miss being in a classroom um, and, and having the ability to be a little more creative with my lessons. And that is why I'm so looking forward to starting without school I did start listing my first class which I'm so excited for it's gonna be like my trial class not that it's gonna be free but just like a hey come and try this out at a one-time class and see how you like um, calligraphy for like 8 to 12 year olds so I'm very very excited for that I think it's gonna be a great class and um, I just need to work it out in my schedule and then list it oh my gosh I'm definitely gonna do a vlog for that um, and let you guys know how that goes if you've already vlogged how you plan out your day or plan out your week, please leave the link down below in a comment so that I can come and watch yours because I love seeing how other people use their planners and how people prioritize things. It, it honestly helps me to see my peers go through this process because I'm a verbal processor and I'm a visual learner. So hearing, I mean, I guess that's auditory processing, but like hearing somebody else talk through how they do something and seeing it is so helpful for me. Um, anyway, I do hope that this helped you, and if it did, please like, share, and make sure to subscribe, of course. And if you're already a boss planner, like, please, please show me your ways. Anyways, I am so grateful for all of you. It is starting to get cold here, and I really do need to get to the grocery store. So I will see y'all later. Have a great week, and I'll see you Thursday.